Hey guys, hey, and welcome back. It's me again, Retta. And um, I was doing some more con comment creeping on today. Actually, I was interacting with my subbies and my girls that I am coming to have an affinity for. And um, 11 hours ago, I made a post. It says, you can't be pressed if you're the one applying the pressure. I, I didn't even um, respond to my community tab this morning. Actually, when I got off of live, I had something to do and then I came back and I'm working on catalogs. And so I decided to go and make sure that I'm, you know, interacting or whatever because YouTube is interactive and you have to re interact with your audience to retain it. And I'm coming to have an affinity for the people that follow me. So, yeah, I went to my community tab and I see this comment from Pretty J who says, Girl, you are definitely pressed. And girl, please stop trying to sound like you are so in polar tent in polar tent quit with the extra ish now of course you know i love comment creeping which is something that i've been doing <laughs> lately i really want to know what is going on with people so as you see i replied <clears throat> You feel I'm in poor lit tent. Dang, put the bottle down. I then decided to go to my comment section and search her name. And lo and behold, what do we find? She has commented on every single video of Liv. And here we go. If she wanted to flush the ring, it would be gone. She mad she got three kids to take care of by her damn self. And Robin got a Grace Jones cut. That's not all, you guys. We are just getting started. Pretty J also commented on the same Olivia video. If you haven't checked that video out, with Olivia flushing the Dollar Tree ring down the toilet, please do. Um, she says, well, all she does is make trips to Walmart. Her prude arse sister is embarrassed of Olivia. That's something that I do wholeheartedly agree with. She then comments on my video about my jazzy life. She says, girl, Aiden always got a snotty nose and a diaper full of pee. And I'm not talking about nobody's kids, but I think she needs to get Aiden checked. He act like he don't have good sense. A baby doesn't have good sense. No, a baby, ma'am, has the sense that you give to it. A baby only does what you allow a baby to do. A baby is as only as good as the parent. But anywho, she also says, and she let, and she's letting him pull out Ava's hair, and girl. She needs to comb Ava's nappy arse hair. That is not all, you guys. Pretty Girl J 
goes on to comment, Girl, why is she always saying how Aiden bullies Ava? If them was my twins, I would be teaching them not to fight. She does nothing to stop it. Them poor kids just so darn dirty. That's not all, you guys. She's commenting all through my comments. Girl, but she really needs that because her mama ain't ish. And that's sad. She sees what she's going through and she don't help her physically with her kids. And where is she on this one? Here she is again. Retta knows better. Oh, this is good. Retta knows better. Girl, I love you. You is so crazy and you just tell it how it is. Jazzy is a lazy person. But what I don't understand is why her mama don't help her and why she don't tell her about herself. Her mama would have been check me. Oh, my mama would have been check me if I was don't the ish she be doing. I think she means doing. But just one month ago, you guys, when I was digging into Jazz Man's and Live the Pigs, you know what? This girl told me, girl, I love you. Hmm. You is so crazy. And you just tell it how it is. Pretty J, what I don't understand is that now that I am attacking people that are attacking me, now that I am laying out facts about the people who are attacking me, why don't you love me? Why aren't I so crazy? And why am I not just telling it how it is? Pretty J, girl, you told it right. And me, Olivia's mama, is an alcoholic? That explains it. I said to her, Olivia's mama gives me fetal alcohol teas. I don't know why this isn't loading, but yeah. Pretty J. Without the picture, without a profile picture. I want to know why is it now that you've decided that I'm just not, you know, comically crazy. And I'm not just telling it how it is now. What, what, what is it about me now that is so different from one month ago? I am the same Retta, only the people that I'm speaking of are different people besides the three moms. What made you change your decision? Because in the video of Jazzy, in the crawfish boil about um, Olivia, in all the following videos that I did about Olivia, I have dragged them the same way that I am dragging others today. I haven't even begun to drag these other women how I did Olivia. I've edited that video, I've recorded that video, my face is in that video, but I'm holding that video because for the right time, the time isn't now. You have to, I'm allowing people to get their privileges back and I want to see what they are going to do when they get they, when they get their privileges back. Are you going to walk the line or are you going to clap back? We shall see. But Pretty J, I want to know why you subscribers that have been weaponized against me weren't weaponized a month ago. Where was all this fodder a month ago? Why weren't you telling me I was pressed about Olivia and Jazzy? Why weren't you telling me that I was making I was making self-important statements? Why do you feel like this as of today, as of 11 hours ago? It's so mind-boggling. I'm so confused. I mean, I don't understand this change. You guys have changed drastically in 30 days. And the only thing that changed about me is the characters in which I am speaking on. I think that says a lot about the audience in which 
Nisi and I guess Lakeside and I guess hey it's Franklin come into your house I mean what what other reason could it be for you to suddenly feel like this in your spirit when just a month ago you were on my nuts let my nuts go beach let's my nuts go you you was just my one of my biggest fans you've commented on my page at least 32 times when it came to other people when it came to the three moms now that it's about somebody that you stand for you just can't take you women have a case of the can't take and you are contradicting yourself while you're out here campaigning for a Somebody who doesn't even know you. Somebody who doesn't care about you. Somebody who can't even produce real content that you can use. But campaign away. Because I don't have to campaign. I'm just... I find this funny. I am getting my jollies off. I find this utterly ridiculous. Um, I'm laughing. I find it hilarious. Because each time I find a comment... Like, like this. I can go back to my comment section and search a person's name, and there they are. You guys need to tighten up. You guys should do better. This is just ridiculous. And I think the creators the with platforms in the subscribers are just as bad as each other like why be a walking contradiction i am pressed and i'm trying to sound so important quit with all the extra are you telling me when i was dragging the whole entire truth frisnuck out of these women that I wasn't utterly ridiculous that I wasn't doing too much that I wasn't being self-important why now is what I ask why now and pretty J Put a picture up, boo. Let, let us see if you're pretty or not. Let us be the judge. I want to wish you all a happy Halloween. I hope your children enjoy it. If you have babies in your belly, make sure you give them some Reese's and Butterfingers for me. Because I like Reese's and Butterfingers, obviously. Please comment down below. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and make those two lines appear. After you click the notification bell, click um, all so that you are updated on all of my content. And actually, please go to my new channel, Retta Uncensored. Let's find it. Yes. Oh, I already got 10 subscribers. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team. Hey, started from the bottom, now she here. 10, subs 10 subscribers. Wow. That's amazing. Look, Nisi. No hands. No help. <laughs> I got a tinny 10 10. Um, yeah, so yeah, please subscribe to my new channel, Retta Uncensored, where I'll put all of the trifling content on because I need to grow this channel because I'm trying to get 10K subscribers. Um, yeah, I just want to get 10K. Like, if I don't get a subscriber over 10K, I'll be happy for 10 more years. But I just want 10K subscribers. So coming up, I am going to be doing a video on... Um, 
on media kits, sponsorships, um, how to do pitch letters and things of that nature. Shout out to the Scott Squad. She actually gave me this idea. And other people have actually been hitting me up to help them with their channels and just, you know, with vlogging and um, just want me to review their channels and stuff like that. I didn't even, you know, think about doing this, that kind of content, but I do find it fun. I do like talking about um, growth and things of that nature. And I do like teaching sometimes, you know, when you can't do, you teach. Yeah, I can do and I can teach. And while I'm doing what I'm doing, I can teach what I'm doing. So I will be doing a screen share on how to create a media kit. I will be um, making a principle that you can download and print out of, or, you know, download and then copy and paste different websites that you can go to to get sponsorships, to do paid partnerships. Um, I will touch on... SEO and keywords for your channel and uh, graphics, where to go to do graphics and all of that. So I'll be taking all the drama, all the ratchet, ratatouille behavior to Reddit Uncensored. I will be uploading, re-uploading all of the ratchet dragon videos over there and the videos over here will probably be unlisted, but that will be... Let me see. Today is the 31st. This channel will start to begin to be undramified by... I give myself two weeks to drag these hoes. So by um, November 11th. So from the 1st to the 10th, I'll still be on my petty shit on this channel. But by the 11th, all of my um, petty drama, three moms content will be put on Reddit Uncensored. I will no longer be talking about that over here because this is actually a great platform to use as a stepping stone for my book and things of that nature. I have a book. It's called um, Hustle and Pretty, and it's about social media marketing and growing your platform. And I just want to push that right now so hopefully you guys enjoy that content and the people who need it they will come if i only get 100 views that's what's up because that's 100 people who now are able to get 50 dollars, 100 dollars, 200 dollars, 500 dollars, a thousand dollars sponsorships and things of that nature because a lot of you have amazing amazing content you are not contentless you guys have amazing content that, especially the mommy vloggers with actual content instead of drama, you guys have so much content that people like Graco and Playtex and stuff like that love. Like, I get a lot of emails from those type of people, but I don't have that content. So, I just want to make sure that when I get those type of emails, I have people that I can send their way. So, yeah, I'm going to be starting that on November 11th. My first video will drop, and it'll be a step-by-step -step process. So, I'll just go ahead and figure out the skeleton of it to see, like, where should I start and move on from there. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Give, what is her name again? Pretty what? Um, give Pretty J a shout out for me if you see her in these comment sections. Let her know that she has made it to comment creeping. Okay? On the Reddit show. Reddit knows better. And Reddit is going to be uncensored over here. So make sure you um, catch that link on my community tab. Because you can't even search this channel. I guess because it doesn't have any content. But I'm going to change the name to Retta Uncensored right now. You guys have a wonderful Halloween with the babies. Kiss the babies for me. Let them know Auntie Retta said what's up. All right, you guys. I'm out.